Welcome along to another BMW DIY E39 M5 how-to guide and today we're going to be looking at replacing the auxiliary fan which sits in front of your radiators and provides the additional cooling for the engine and also the cooling for the air conditioning condenser. This is what your fan looks like and there are two different versions depending on the year of your car. So E39's before 1998 had a 4 pin plug and the fan was controlled via a resistor pack with 3 set speeds. From 1998 onwards, so that's essentially everything M5, the fan was controlled by a PWM signal and it only has 3 wires so you've got your live, ground and a smaller wire for the digital signal which sends uh, a frequency current down to the fan from the engine control module and that tells the fan how fast it needs to spin. The common failure items on these fans are they either seize up fully and stop rotating or inside here is where the electronics pack is and that's what stops working as well. So if the electronics stop working, then the whole fan stops working. And you can easily test that using the BMW INPA system by loading it up with your ignition on, going into the DME or DDE settings, then to the activate option, then find the setting that says E-Fan and that will turn the electric fan on. If it runs, great. If not, then you've got an issue and 9 times out of 10 it's the fan itself. The fuses very rarely fail. The control side of the system which is integrated into the ECU I've never known that fail at all. So your fan is 99 times the failure reason. When you buy a new fan it's pointless buying a cheap one as it's likely to fail again. Your best option is to go for a genuine bare Heller unit or a genuine Siemens unit. This one was £129 delivered so you should be able to pick them up around about similar prices depending on whereabouts you shop. Onto the fitting side of it you're going to have to remove a front bumper so if you've seen some of my other videos we've gone through how to remove a front bumper in them it's essentially a case of the mounting lugs at the side Underneath the plastic under bumper trims, then a couple of T50 Torx bolts underneath the front bumper. And that's as far as I'm going to show you on mine. Um, as I've said in previous videos, I've got additional security measures in place to prevent the front bumper being stolen, as the Sport front bumpers are, and the M5 front bumpers, although are identical, uh, readily stolen because uh, they're just that easy to steal. Once you've got your front bumper off, then you'll need to remove anything that's in the way of the auxiliary fan. So, on this setup, we've got the power steering cooler and engine oil cooler, which we'll just unbolt and move to one side. Then we should be able to get to the auxiliary fan system once we've removed the rubberized trim as well. Once you've removed the rubberized plastic trim and unplug the fan, just to the left of the fan itself, next to the headlight. Then you'll be able to remove it. There are one, two, three, four M8 bolts holding it in. So a 13mm socket. You'll see that come right out. And then you can clean up behind the fan area, removing any debris, leaves, and things that are built up there. And then you can install your new fan. Once your new fan's all in place, Make sure that it's securely fitted properly and that all the flaps are free to move for the air. Make sure it spins without catching on anything. Then you can refit the rubberized plastic kidney trim and reinstall any oil coolers that you've fitted and put your car back together. Once you've got your car back together then we can load up BMW INPA to test the new fan to make sure it's all working okay. So we'll select E39. Go into engine, select the engine for your car, 
No, in our case, it's the S52 DME for the S62 engine. Ignoring the language mismatches. Then go to F6 for activate. F2, activate relays. Then it's F3, E fan we're wanting. Pops up a little message saying fan controlled. Then as you can hear, the fan winds itself up to full speed, holds it for one second, then ramps back down again to off. So that's the guide for changing your auxiliary fan. It shouldn't take you much more than an hour or so. Maybe an hour and a half if you've got a few seized bolts, if you've never had front bumper off. Hope it's been of some use for you, and thank you for watching. Keep an eye on my channel for things coming in the future. As I said in an earlier video, we've got a major winter project on the go, which is just about ready for installation. So once the summer season has finished, with a final trip to the Nürburgring, then that's it. Cars in the garage over winter, front end's completely stripped off for the latest project, and hopefully, whether it goes well or goes bad, we'll have a video for you. So thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future, and give this video a like, and thank you again.